Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 969. This is Wicked Widow Weddles. Wicked Widow Weddles is a 2024 movie directed by Fia Schwab. T H E A S H A R R O C K. Fia Schwab. This is from Sony Pictures Presses. Studio Canal Productions, Film 4 Productions, and Blueprint Pictures. I saw this movie on April 11th, 2024 at Regal Cinema 16 in Deerfield Town Center of Mason, Ohio. Now this is based on a true scandal. So based on a true story, it's about a woman named Edith Swan. And Rose Gooding. When Edith Swan and fellow residents begin to receive wicked letters full of hilarious profanities, foul mouthed Rose is charged with the crime, despite, despite any evidence that Rose did it. However, as the town's women investigate the crime themselves, they suspect that something is amiss, and that Rose may not be the culprit after all. So, Olivia Coleman portrays Edith Swan, who lives with her mother and father. Timothy Spar portrays Edward Swan, who is Edith's, Edith's father. And Gemma Jones portrays Victoria Swan, Edith's mother. And Edith begins to receive wicked letters that is full of profanities and other nonsense. In the town, believes that Rose Gooding, played by Jesse Buckley, is the culprit. That she likes to have she has a foul mouth. She says a bunch of profanities sometimes. But despite any evidence, they still put Rose Gooding behind bars. But she is eventually released. But some of the women in the town believe that maybe Rose may not be the culprit, including police constable Gladys Moss, portrayed by Andrana Fesson in the film. Gladys Moss is assigned not to take this case, but she does so anyway as she believes that Rose may be telling the truth when she said that she did not do it. And so Rose and Gladys decides to team up to try to figure out who the culprit is, and they also all joined by some of the other women in the town, as they actually like Rose, unlike most of the people, and they want to see who the real culprit is. I'm going to say this. Rose Gooding is not the culprit, but you won't believe who is. And it will definitely shock you, as it did me. So this is like a mystery movie as far as the detectives being Gladys Moss, Woods, Rose Gooding, and some of the other women in the town are trying to figure out who, who the culprit is. And the further they go, they find more clues but also more outposts by the community that Rose should just be charged with this even though Rose didn't actually do it. And there are a lot of people that are wanting rules behind bars, or at least away from this area. But let's just say that some of the residents, let's just say that they have secrets of their own. Secrets that could lead to one of them being the culprit. And like I said, when Gladys Moss begins investigating this, she starts to find crews and crews and crews that could lead to the actual culprit. And when they do find the culprit, let's just say that everything that changed, let's just say that it changes everything. Now they must figure out how to convince everybody that this particular person did it rather than Rose before Rose's trial. Because, the tr because Rose is on trial during the movie, and the jury is going to determine whether Rose is innocent or guilty.
So the grannies and the women must try to figure out how to prove Will is innocent before the jury's decision. But as time is running out, and some of the residents are trying to make it look right that Will actually did do it, Gladys isn't sure if she can pull it off. But let's just say that she is determined and she will not give up, even if it means losing. Oh, I thought it was a pretty good movie, and you won't believe all the letters that all the profanities, all the nonsense that were in these letters. They are definitely wicked. That's that is why the movie is called Wicked Little Letters. I thought it was pretty good. So that's my movie review of Wicked Little Letters. Please enjoy for this movie review. Alright, goodbye.